Welcome to Spiritual Rockstar Podcast, where world-changing spiritual entrepreneurs come to deeply awaken the power within to bring forth their greatest purpose, to create massive awakened impact for millions of souls around the planet, while enjoying being in tune with all life and real wealth in all aspects of their lives. I'm your host, Daniel John Hanneman. Hello, hello, everybody. So glad again to be here with you. Today we're talking about something that is so important to skyrocketing your ability to rock your sacred purpose, to be the spiritual rock star that you really are, which is manifesting your light and earth team for the most amazing success. So no no person that I could ever think of in the annals of history or even in, in my own lifetime can I think of that has had a major impact in the world for the good, has done it without having a team. I mean, I just don't really, I mean, I guess maybe it, maybe it exists in some kind of way, but typically leaders thought leaders spiritual leaders pretty much across the board they have it and they have a team and everyone has a team if you talk about having a light team even if you're not consciously working with that light team there are forces that are there that are working on our behalf to allow ourselves to have all the things happen that want to happen through us so we're here to talk about the non-physical help, the light team. We're here to talk about the earthly team and um, how to call that in and then let that go to work for you to create that effortless success that you're looking for. More of the effortlessness and more of the joy, more of the love, more of the deep fulfillment and being an enlightened presence while you're rocking it out, doing your thing. So. So with all this being said, um, this has been something I've been talking about recently with our 40 days of surrendering and thriving at my Facebook group, Rock Your Sacred Purpose. And so uh, if you want to learn more about that, go there as well. When I look, think about my own path too, and I think about where I am you know, today and I back up and I think about all the things that have happened, Again, I would not be where I am today without all the team. So I'm going to talk about this a little bit personally, too, for me. Uh, I'm married to my soulmate who supports me in so many different ways. And she's, you know, like she's always there for me. She's always there to help with, um, with, with anything I need, really. Anything I need, she's here for me. Um, whether it's emotional... Uh, thinking something through, just support um, overall, it, which is which is really helpful to me because uh, there are times when things are going on, and yes, I can meditate on it, I can channel the guides, I can clear my energy, but sometimes there's nothing like having someone there to be a support to you. So for me, I'm very blessed in that way. And then, you know, all the mentors I've had, all the coaches, all the people that have given me wisdom and taught me what I know, whether it's spirituality, business, etc. So all those things. And I didn't think about the people directly I've hired to work with me in my business, uh, in my businesses. And I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be able to do what I do um, nearly as effectively. If I had to figure out how to create web pages and come up with emails and uh, to, I mean, in terms of like delivering them, especially, and oh my God, just there's so many things that go into having an online business, which is primarily what I have uh, is online. So I won't be able to pull it off. So the bottom line is I would never, I never would have. And then I had people work with me as co uh, work, you know, through my programs to support people as coaches, as healers through the Academy for Invincible Healers that I had for years. So that wouldn't have been the same. I could have done it without other people probably, but it wouldn't have been the same. It would have had the same level of love and success. And so some of it too is not, and it wouldn't have been as fun. So 
some of this thing about like, do you need a team or do you not need a team? You can create some success. You can make money. You can do some things and not, you know, hire people and, or have coaches and everything, but to, to a degree, but at some point you're going to run into a limit. The, the greater potential that you have will not be reached or accomplished. You know, a lot of times we go to the sporting analogy, right? So you think about, athletes and they all have a whole team of coaches they don't have one coach they have a whole team of coaches so in basketball someone might have the strength and conditioning coach then they've got uh, the shooting coach then you've got a, um maybe an overall conditioning coach or and then you have the head coach and then you have assistant coaches and then you have this coach and that coach and this coach so you've got like all these inputs and they all, when focused and orchestrated and, and prop, properly utilized, will uh, bring out the best, will ground and land greater success. Now, one of the cautions they have around, you know, manifesting your perfect team here on, you know, the, the I'm talking about the earth team here right now. You don't want to just bring people in just to create something and hope for the best. Okay. So you want to hire people like, oh, it'd probably be good to hire somebody for this. Well, it'd probably be good to, for me to hire a mentor. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Joe here is a mentor. I'll hire him. Like, they, of course not, right? You all know that. But my point is just to have I have. Oh, I have gotten to the point before where I hired people that I thought would help in the business and they were supportive, but, and I'm sure it was all, it all was perfect because it happened. But when I, in retrospect, just from my mental aspect, I just look back and say, I probably didn't need that help at that time. You know, maybe I could have done without that. Of course, it felt right. My guidance told me to do it. That's always the thing to pay attention to. That's why I offer such deep support to get in this way of being where you really are trusting what's really true for you. And so that's the, always primary, this primary way of being I talk about again and again that I train people in. Um, at yoursacredpurpose.com when you go there and uh, even the meditate and make money is a great place to start. Uh, it's a free meditation there, but like everything I share comes back to that. Um, and really getting embodied in to, to getting aligned with what's really wanting to happen. And so I was aligned with that. I got to experience really rich support and it did make my life easier in some ways. When I look back at when the intention was to grow business, didn't necessarily happen just by hiring some more people that I thought that would work, right? So if it gets too much of into a mental concept, that's where we're lost. So often the things that make no mental sense to us in our business are the things that work the best. So that could also mean not hiring people and realizing right now isn't the time for that kind of team. But you need, a, you need to start creating the team and so one of the things I've been doing is helping people to dial that in. You know, I'm going to be dialing that in through our, we've got it. We have created now uh, an ongoing membership for people. I was, the one I've got going now starting in July. So rock your sacred purpose um, membership community. So if you look at, a, or you've been listening to podcasts or you've been with me for a while, you might, might want to check that out. Um, and you just go to rock your, or I'm sorry, your sacred purpose.com forward slash community uh, forward slash and you can check that out there so your sacred purpose.com forward slash community forward slash all right so yeah share lots of links and stuff today but um just popping like popcorn for me uh but all that is there to support your path so that you have a team you have within that community we're going to have you're going to have a team that are all wanting to rock their sacred purpose. They want to be world changers. They want to rock it. Maybe they already have before, but now they've got something deeper that's coming up. They want to bring in the world. If that's you, you want to check out that community. So anyway, so getting back to the subject for today is how can we call in the, the right team? How can we summon that? We are energetic beings. We're constantly, infinitely connected with everything. So we're, we're being asked to summon that team, our light team, our earth team. So when you 
we'll take you into a process today briefly into a meditation to have you connect more with who who is the light team who is the earth team who what you know who who wants to support you what is the most ideal and the best what's going to serve your highest and best let's do it the way that uh, we're intended to do it first and foremost by tuning into it and seeing what's there okay so i'm going to take you into a, a brief meditation of course don't do this if you're operating heavy equipment or driving a car i just don't want to be doing these things then so if you'll join me though take a nice deep breath in through nose up through crown chakra up through a higher self up to love light source energy up into the all in all and as you exhale through your mouth let this energy come back down through our self down through a crown chakra down through all your chakras through his body through our field down through your feet down through root tree down, down through the core of the earth and so I speak these words and they I am right here and right now as I recognize God, love, life, source, spirit is all there is. I know that the power of source has already encoded me with a purpose and a vision for my life and for what wants to unfold through the impact I'm meant to bring here into the world. I'm grateful that I am whole and well at my core. That in truth, in deepest truth, there's nothing exactly that I require, yet there's something that wants to meet and greet me and operate and circulate through me, and I'm wanting to be more aware of it. So I allow myself for now to imagine and, and sense my deepest sacred purpose, the greatest thing I sense that I'm here to fulfill. I allow it to be given to me. I allow the sense of of angels or fairies or the whole combination of them taking me to a scene on top of a mountaintop somewhere where I can look out into the world and I can actually begin to see or vision it or feel it that it comes to me that I get a sense of my full purpose manifesting into the world and what's happening I let the still voice within my heart within my being to speak to me I allow myself to download it if I need to, I pause this podcast to allow myself to hear it fully. And we take a moment to listen. What's happening? What's unfolding? What's happening through your vision? Okay, perfect. Again, you can pause the recording if you want to go deeper. Now ask yourself the question, what is the team that is needed to allow all this to happen? First and foremost, what's my earthly team? What support do I need? Marketing, business, sales, on any level, every level of my business, finances, et cetera. What support may be needed? What mentors may be needed? What energetic support? Go ahead and just be with it all and just whatever comes through is absolutely perfect. Take a moment to tune in. Give thanks for what's coming forth. Now it's absolutely perfect. And then go ahead and ask yourself, what's the next step right now? What's the immediate next bold step I need to take in my business to fulfill my vision? What's the immediate next bold step I need to take? What's the next thing? What's the next big thing for me? Give thanks for what's ever coming forth. 
Now ask yourself, what team do I need right now to support me overall in my business and to manifest this next big thing? So what team do I need right now to support me best and, and also help me to manifest this next big bold next step? Whatever some comes has come forth is perfect. Now I want you to go ahead and call in your light team if you haven't already connected with your light team in this process. Just pour it on now from the higher realms. Allow the archangels, your send masters, your angels, your guides, whatever may be there. Ask them to come into your awareness now. The ones that will help you to manifest your greatest purpose that are meant to work with you right now. Let them announce themselves and reveal themselves right here and right now. Give thanks for whatever's coming forth. You know, and again, you can pause this uh, podcast at any time to go deeper. And just give thanks for everything that's come forth, knowing that just by taking this time to do this, this is helping you so much. And realize that you can order in the light team uh, to help you and support you manifesting clients. Um, Earth team members to help you in, with everything. Any aspect of your life or your business, you can dial it in, that there's non-physical beings available to support and guide your energy and your, your light. So we give thanks and let that soak in. Just imagine yourself now just writing yourself uh, a love note of appreciation. Write yourself a letter of appreciation that you said yes to all these things today. Give thanks. So you can do that now. Pause the recording if you like. And through this love letter now, you've let it be so by giving appreciation to it. And you're just so letting it just soak, continue to soak in, knowing you can write your tickets your way from with all the supports of, of course, connected to what source is giving you to do and to experience. And knowing that you can, the source provides you with all the financial abundance to let it all be possible that it literally can write the checks for you because it is the substance and supply that it lets it all unfold and flow. So give thanks for all of it and let it be accomplished and let it be done and let it come into fruition into your life for the highest good of all. Thank you, God. And so it is. Okay, all right, come back. Yeah, open your eyes slowly and just come back at your own pace. As you are doing that, I just want to again just give, give thanks uh, for you tuning in today, um, for all the, the love and the fulfillment that's flowing through you, for everything that's come through for you, and just letting yourself experience the blessing that you are. And uh, I look forward to continuing to share with you. Uh, again, if you just want to check check out more about how I can support you and get the free Meditate Make Money uh, meditation, if you haven't already, go to yoursacredpurpose.com. There's also an application there for you to spend time to, um, to be able to spend time with me for a free consultation if you qualify, of course, through the application. 
So I look forward to further uh, supporting you. And as usual, you keep on tuning in here. We'll keep on rocking it here at Spiritual Rock Star Podcast. Okay, big love to you. See you the next time. Bye, everybody. For listening to Spiritual Rock Star Podcast, stay tuned for our next upcoming new episodes each Wednesday and Saturday. Please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review to help us to serve you best. As a reminder, you can get your free Meditate and Make Money meditation at www.yoursacredpurpose.com to rock your sacred purpose. Goodbye for now, everybody.